Hi everyone, welcome to a new video from the Ancient and Medieval Adventures Camps. We could never talk about the ancient Greek world without also discussing the heroic Heracles and his 12 labors. Today, we're going to be learning all about who Heracles was and why he was performing 12 labors, which are incredibly difficult tasks. We will also take a closer look at our picks for the top five labors that demonstrate what a great hero Heracles was. Finally, we will discuss whether or not we still see this ancient hero today, and if he's just as important now as he was in the ancient Greece. To begin, let's discuss who Heracles was. Heracles was a mythical hero from ancient Greece. He was the son of the god Zeus and a mortal named Alcmene. This makes him a demigod. A demigod was a person who was half god and half mortal, and they often had the favor of some gods and sometimes even godlike powers. For Heracles, his power was his strength. He was known in stories to be much stronger than a regular man. Though Heracles is in several myths, he is most famous for the stories surrounding his 12 labors. The picture on this slide is an example of one of his labors. Here we can see Heracles slaying the Nemean lion. Slaying the lion was only one of our hero's many tasks. He had to slay two more beasts, capture four animals, steal from two people, obtain property from two people, and clean a huge stable. There are too many labors for us to go over all of them in detail, so we've made a list of our top five to share with you. Before we look at the labors, let's talk about why Heracles would choose to perform these 12 impossible tasks. Was it to show everyone how strong he was? To prove his worth to the gods? No! Heracles had done something bad in his life and wanted to do whatever it took to make things right. After doing a bad deed, he traveled to Delphi to speak with an oracle there. An oracle was someone who could speak with the gods and give others their wisdom. The oracle told Heracles that he must travel to King Aristheus and perform any task the king would give him. Then he would be forgiven. The king chose 12 impossibly difficult tasks because he was working with the goddess Hera, who hated Heracles and wanted him to fail. But worry not. Heracles had his demigod strength, quick wit, and the help of friends and a few other gods and goddesses to make sure he won. Now we can look at our top five labors. But first... Quick fact! Did you know Heracles was only to perform 10 tasks? This was later t changed to 12 when Aristheus told him that two tasks did not count. The king refused to count the slaying of the Hydra because Heracles had the help of his friend and the cleaning of the stables because the rivers did most of the work. How awful to do all that work for nothing! Our first pick of labors is the battle between Heracles and the Nemean lion. This was a labor chosen by Hera because she wanted to put Heracles in danger. The Nemean lion was known throughout all Greece because no weapons could harm the beast. However, this was no problem for our hero. Heracles tired out the lion and then used his bare hands to choke the beast and claim victory. He then took the lion's fur back to the king as proof of his success. This labor is a great example of how Heracles could use his godlike strength to win his battles. With the people of Greece safe from the Nemean lion, let's move on to our next labor. The Lernaean Hydra. The word Hydra simply means water snake. But as the stories about this creature were told over time, 
it changed into a beast with many heads. Heracles had to travel to dark swamps to find the Hydra's home. Once he had found the Hydra, he had his work cut out for him, because every time he chopped off the monster's head, one or even two more heads would grow in its place. To make matters worse, the goddess Hera sent the Hydra a giant crab to help it defeat Heracles. But our hero would not give up. Heracles called on his friend Aeolus to help as well. Heracles was quick to stomp on the crab, and then he and Aeolus worked together to take down the Hydra. Heracles would cut off the heads, and Aeolus would quickly burn the stump so that no new heads would grow. Even a strong demigod hero like Heracles needs help sometimes. Next, we have the story of Heracles catching the Cyrenian hind. Hind is another word for deer in this story, and this deer was very fast. So fast that the king truly believed that Heracles would never be able to catch her, so this became his task. Heracles chased the hind for a whole year before he was able to catch up with her. On his way back, Heracles met the goddess Artemis, who was furious with him because the hind was so important to her. However, he was able to calm her down by explaining that the king ordered him to catch the hind as one of his tasks and promised to release her once the king had seen that he was successful. Not all of Heracles' labors were about his brute strength. In this case, the hero had to be patient and speedy to make his way to victory. Though, some of his tasks did need a combination of skills for him to succeed. This is especially true for our next top pick. Heracles was also tasked with getting the cows from Geryon, the monstrous giant who had three heads and three bodies. Most would think that the giant was the biggest problem for Heracles, but it was not. This time, it was the journey to his task that stumped poor Heracles Geryon and his cattle were located at the edge of the known Greek world. This was basically a story about traveling to the end of the world and back. It was a dangerous and long trip that our hero had to make alone. Yet, he was lucky. The sun god Helios was impressed with the progress that Heracles had made, so he offered the hero a magic goblet that he could travel in to make his trip easier. Once he was at the end of the world, Heracles easily killed the giant and took the cattle back to King Aristheus. Now, cows and deer are pretty tame animals to capture, but how do you think it would, our hero would do catching? A monstrous dog! Our last labor was Heracles catching the giant three-headed dog Cerberus, who guarded the dreaded underworld. Heracles had to make his way down to the land of the dead, where he asked Hades, the god of the underworld, for permission to take Cerberus back to the king to complete his task. Hades told Heracles that he could take Cerberus, but on two conditions. One, that he had to overpower the dog without using any weapons, and two, that he returned the guard dog back to the underworld when he was done. Our hero was able to wrestle the dog with his own strength long enough to tire him out. Then he delivered Cerberus to the king to complete his labor. Now that we've come to the end of our top five labors, we can discuss how Heracles relates to our world today. The character Hercules still holds the role of a hero when we retell his story today he is beloved by many because he demonstrates strength, honor, and is driven to help others. These traits are real, still really important, so the story of Hercules lives on in the form of movies, TV shows, and books. Many of you may recognize this hero from the Disney film Hercules, where they changed his story quite a bit from the traditional myths. Though his labors are not central to the story, and many of the original elements have changed, you can still see the selfless nature of a hero is still important in the film. 
the story of hercules is still being told as a lesson to teach you about what it means to be a true hero that is the end of our lesson today thanks so much for watching